Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, back with another video. And I know the two videos that I promised this week, um, I'm having to push them both back because of just personal issues and all that. But I do have a video for you all today that you're all probably going to like. And this video I'm going to talk about here is, I you notice the Atlas Bucks balance that I had? It had been slowly growing over time. Uh, I think you all remember the uh, it, it was slowly growing to about over 15,000 Atlas Bucks, or pretty close by it. And I decided, you know what, because Super Rent Boost is coming up, and it's been three weeks since that Super Rent Boost, I kind of got tired of waiting. So I thought I would take advantage of the Super Rent Boost while I went to go vote today. I went early voting in North Carolina over in Kannapolis at the Kannapolis train station, and I bought the entire train station and then some. And I'm going to show a little bit of footage right now showing you uh, the 147 parcels that I have bought, and we're going to look at the math behind it. So while that is going, let's talk about exactly why I did this. So as you probably know, the boost break-even chart from 3x to 2x is supposed to be around 1,720 parcels. Well, one of those reasons is because of the super rent boost. And the second reason is because I might not get another chance to do something like this. I had originally planned to save up all these parcels to go and become mayor of Rowan County. But because of a chain of events that caused Maximus Damages to take one of the counties that Glaston wanted, and thus Glaston decided to take Rowan County and make it a little bit too expensive for me, I went ahead and decided I'm just going to go ahead and fortify Kannapolis and start picking up some of the spots that I like around here. Plus, this way it will become so expensive that most of the others or, you know, most of the whales that come by probably will not want to take it. And as I mentioned before, I want to ensure that I stay mayor of Kannapolis for the duration of the game's existence, basically. Mainly because I live here, and mainly because this way I can actually go and put down parcels in real time. Kannapolis itself is a fairly decent medium-sized town, and it's on an interstate, so I actually do get an above-average amount of Atlas Bucks with it, which definitely helps things out for me in getting some extra Atlas Bucks towards parcels. Now I know I was only about two-thirds of the way there to the break-even point, and part of the reason why I decided to stop and do this is because I did check to see if I bought one more common parcel, what the drop would be, and the drop would only go from $55 a month, which is what I was currently making at the time, to about $47.30 a month. It actually wasn't that bad of a drop, to be honest with you, and much of that is because of these super rent boosts. The super rent boosts do provide the vast majority of the earnings that I get for a single month. And going up from about $16 and change to almost $19, which is what the 147 parcels was going to give me, I felt like it was worth it, especially since I'm starting with a super rent boost. And yes, I'll lose money over the next couple of weeks compared to keeping it at 1500 but then I will make a lot of that back with the next super rent boost and then some. I calculated that it would be right around, I would say, the end of the first week of November to the beginning of the second week of November before uh, the break-even point would hit where I would end up losing money doing this. So I thought I would bet on myself, thinking to myself that, oh, I can probably make about 70-something parcels in three and a half weeks, and I went for it. So this is what the footage you're seeing is, a little bit sped up in about mm, 3x, I'd say. I think that's the most um, my editing software will time compress. So yeah, about 3x. And as you probably noticed at the start too, I'm doing this in the middle of the fishing minigame currently, and I have my own comments regarding that. But here I'm going to show you all the 147 parcels. Well, most of them anyway. I kind of did not show the final 16 or so that I bought mainly because the final 16 that I bought would require me to have to... Okay, there was this thing with the election thing where um, you weren't allowed to record at all once you crossed a particular line. And 
you know, I don't want to deal with anything legal. I don't want to get into any legal trouble. So once I crossed that line, I stopped the recording and I had about 14, 15 parcels left at the time. So that's why you're not able to see those final parcels, but you're able to see plenty of legendaries, plenty of rares, and plenty of epics here, although it was a little bit annoying that I got like my first six or seven parcels being all commons. I mean, by the way, I did want to mention too, to those of you that had asked me why I didn't try to take Charlotte, well, now you see why. We are now entering the part of the game where the whales will likely take the vast majority of the big cities. So that leaves us with like medium sized towns for us free to play or free to play plus Explorer Club players to try to take over ourselves. Because even though it wouldn't be as great bang for the buck, um, you still get some Atlas bucks out of it. I mean, I still get, I'd say around 200 to 250 Atlas bucks a month usually from Canapolis, although not recently. Recently, I've been getting about half that. But yeah, that's the reason why I started at Canapolis, because I kind of saw this one coming, and now here we are, where, you know, if I had taken over Charlotte, I probably wouldn't have gotten Charlotte at this point. Maximus Damages has over 2,000 on it. Meanwhile, Canapolis, I still have about a 1,400 parcel lead. All right, we're getting towards the end here, and then we are going to go and look at the math behind it. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, now's a good time to. Okay, so the results of the parcels are as follows. I had gained 72 commons out of the 147 I put down from 764 to 836. I gained 53 rares, which is the most per its proportion anyway, of any of the other rarities that I have, from 447 to 500 exactly. I gained 17 epics to go from 220 to 237, and I went from 69 to 74 legendaries, giving me a gain of 5, yet again a little below average. Previously, in the 3x tier, I had a distribution percentile somewhere in the 18th percentile, with my uh, 764, 447, 220, and 69, as you see here, and I was making about $55 per month. Now, this is with a 24-7 boosting. Um, the reason why I'm doing 24-7 boosting now is because of the new expansion. So the expansion of the boosting for Explorer Club members from 6 hours to 8 hours, making 24-7 boosting a lot more possible, or at least very close to a 24-7 boosting. During Super Rent Boosts, I am making about $16.93 for the 32-hour Super Rent Boost as well. And with the Explorer Club being taken out, my profit is about $5.01 per month. Now with the 2x tier, I knew it wasn't the best draw, but oh boy. Um, so I dropped to a distribution somewhere in the 12th percentile. That's, uh, that's not good at all. Um, I think part of that is because of the lack of legendaries. At 147 parcels, you expect to get around 7 legendaries. Uh, one every 20, and I got five, so that did hurt quite a bit. Also, with 147, you expect to get around 21 epics, and I only got 17 epics. Again, it also hurt quite a bit. And not only that, but my total earnings had also dropped to $52.52 for the month, which is about a $2.53 profit. So yes, that did cut my profits in half, but again, I mentioned before some of the benefits of arriving in the late game a little early. One of which being the Super Rent Boost now going up to $18.54 for a 32-hour Super Rent Boost. So now let's take a look at my strategy and what I had planned to do, and let's see if it would pay off. So the gain I will get from the Super Rent Boosts is about $1.61.4, if I'm going to be very precise here. However, what I'm going to sacrifice is my daily loss. I was sitting at about 76.2 cents. That has now dropped to 55.6 cents. So this is during non-Super Rent Boost days. 
So now I have hit a loss of 20.6 cents accordingly. Now my strategy here is that I started building this right around the time Super Rent Boost started. So when Super Rent Boost started, which is from 1017, the late afternoon of 1017, to the entire day of 1018, I will be gaining $1.61.4 during that time. I will also be getting that same amount during the super rent boost of 1031 to 111 if I don't put any more parcels down. However, during the 12 and 2 thirds days in between from October 19th to most of the 31st, I'm going to be losing 20.6 cents a day. Now 20.6 cents multiplied by 12 and 2 thirds of days, so that, uh, putting it into my head here, I believe that is around a $2.61 loss. So between that and the two super rent boosts giving me roughly a $3.23 gain, that gives me a gain of 61 cents by the end of November 1st. And then from there, from November 2nd on, I would lose another 20.6 cents, meaning that by about November the 5th, I should have basically not broken even, but that's only if I don't put down another parcel, which I guarantee you I'll be putting parcels down now in real time since I have placed them all in Kannapolis. So I'm going to be recording these next few weeks, and I will see if it actually ended up paying off in the end. And I'm going to be talking about that likely during the November month in review at the beginning of December. So I'll be doing some recording and get back to you on that one. And if not, just remind me, I might talk about it on a stream instead. And so that's the video, everybody. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about my strategy of starting 2x a little sooner than had originally expected. If you think it was a good idea or not, and I will probably talk about it in the, if not November, the December a month in well the November month in review I guess it would be in December and I started December to see if it had actually paid off and don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine this is Pharaoh Silver signing out I will see you all next time bye everybody